A backcountry casino has abruptly closed. And former employees of the La Posta Casino and Boulevard say they were given very little notice. New at 7, 10 News reporter Marianne Martinez traveled to the backcountry to see why. Some say the casino was doomed. Yellow tape blocks off the driveway leading into La Posta Casino now. The parking lot was empty and quiet. Just five years ago, it sounded like this. The slot machines going, the casino floor buzzed with activity. Backcountry residents say that didn't last for very long. It's really no surprise that they're closing. I mean, they, they hardly ever had any business. The casino officially closed on Monday. In this letter sent to employees, the band of Mission Indians cite their financial situation as the reason why. In the letter to workers, the chairperson said, quote, We are grateful for all your hard work and will guarantee that all the time you have contributed to our tribe's dream will be monetarily satisfied in the end. La Posa declined to speak to 10 News or tell us how many people were laid off. Some believe La Posta may have been doomed from the beginning. The thing about La Posta is that it's kind of tucked away and you don't see it from the freeway. And in fact, most of the people I know don't even know it exists. Since opening in 2007, La Posta has had to compete with a much larger Golden Acre Casino. Acorn sits right off of Interstate 8. This boulevard motel owner was at La Posta on Friday. He says it was painfully obvious why they were closing. It was like four or five people over there. Even though La Posta might not be missed by many, the people who work there will definitely feel its absence. In Boulevard, Marianne Martinez, 10 News. The casino is believed to be the first to close in this area. However, tribal casinos are hard to track since they belong to sovereign nations and don't have to report to many regulatory agencies.